Good evening everyone and welcome to Aloe Burns Club first ever virtual friendship evening. First of all I would like to say a big thank you to Daniel Nicol who played the pipes for us on the old brig, Ye Banks and Breeze. Thank you Daniel for opening our programme. Now we all know that it was five years after the death of our bard that a group of his friends decided to hold a dinner for him in the cottage. And so, year on year, Allaby Burns Club have a friendship evening on a Saturday evening nearest to the anniversary of the death of our bard. Normally, we would all meet in the grounds of the cottage, glass in hand, ready to toast the bard. We would ask our guest speaker to speak and then at the end of that speech we would toast the bard. Then I would ask him or her to accompany me to lay our single red rose in the window of the cottage. However, this evening that is not going to happen. However, I am going to lay a single red rose and I am delighted and honoured to do so. And whilst I am doing so, I'm going to be accompanied by Callum Cook, who is going to play My Love is Like a Red Red Rose on his fiddle. Well, thank you very much for that very interesting input, President Money. It is important that we remember why we gather at the cottage at this time of the year. Thanks also to Callum Cook. What a wonderful musical accompaniment. We are indeed fortunate that you agree to entertain our club, as it really does greatly add greatly to the enjoyment of the evening. Now we come to the next part of the festivities. At this time, we cross over here to the village hall where we're going to eat, drink and be happy. Now, unlike that first supper, we are not going to be offering haggis and sheep's heads. Neither will we be toasting three times three, i.e. nine times. But I do invite you, if you have a glass, that you keep it with you, or you can top it up if you wish. I am sure that tonight's menu will be suitable to your palate and your own dietary needs. The entertainment tonight is wide and varied, so you can sit comfortably and enjoy the evening as we hear from some Will Kent faces. We have heard about the gathering, or the first gathering. It continued for nine years, although they were meeting in January. Reverend Paul was then of the opinion that it was all over when he penned the words, farewell to the Alloa Club. Little did he know that the Alloa Burns Club would be the strong and flourishing club that it is today. As we start the celebration, let us remember Reverend pa Hamilton Paul's words. Nine times the annual lyre arrived strung, nine times the poet's praises sung, thus have the muses all by turns paid homage to the shade of Burns. How you, the patrons of the Nine, delighted, charmed, enraptured, fired, 
by love of poesy and wine, politely listened and admired. But should the day be overcast, and the effusion prove my last in words that oft have met your ear, thus last request permit me here, when yearly you assemble. Oh, one round I ask it with a tear be to him the bard that's far away. To Robert Burns. My curse upon your venom stang that shoots my tortured gums along and through my luggies money a twang with no in vengeance, tearing my nerves with bitter pang like racking engines. When fevers burn or ague freezes, rheumatics no or colic squeezes, your neighbours sympathise to ease us with pity and moan, but thee thou hell of all diseases, I mocks our groan. It's no in titles, nor in rank. It's no in wealth, like London Bank, to purchase peace and rest. It's no in mackin' muckle mare. It's no in books. It's no in leer, to mak us truly blessed. If happiness he near your seat, and centre in the breast, you may be rich or wise or great, but never can be blessed. Nay treasures, nor pleasures can mark us happy lang. The hurt say, the pert say, the marks us right or wrong. The golden age will then revive. Each man will be a brother. In harmony we all shall live and share the earth together. In virtue trained, enlightened youth, will love each fellow creature. And future years shall prove the truth. That man is good by nature. Then let us toast with three times free the reign of peace and liberty. This is a wee poem called The Twelve Cats. I've just wrote it, so I'm still going to be reading it off the paper. It's got about 22 verses. Luckily, I'm only going to read two. <laughs> the Twelve Cats. There were twelve cats that hailed for air, although... We scampy, he was actually born in stair. Princess Tallulah, she had it all. Well, our father was a judge, and so was our ma. We scampy, his name had him pegged. He always looked as if he was a bit half fed. Well, Princess Tallulah was dripping in diamonds. You could see them sparkling as far as the highlands. Thank you. As many of you know in Allery Burns Club, I don't often um, repeat, recite poetry. <laughs> I don't often try to stand up and say many words, but um, I thought it'd be prudent tonight to, to do something for the, the virtual um, Burns Sangs and Clatter evening. The poem I'm going to uh, recite is a very short poem, um, and it was written by Robert Burns called Fickle Fortune. 
I hope you haven't heard it, um, and I hope you find it interesting. Though fickle fortune has deceived me, she promised fair and performed but ill. Of mistress, friends, and wealth bereave me, yet I bear a heart shall support me still. I lacked with prudence as far as I'm able, but if success I must never find, then come misfortune, I bid thee welcome. I'll meet thee with an undaunted mind. Thank you. Once I loved a bunny lass, I and a lover still, and whilst that virtue warms my breast, I love my handsome nail. As bonny lassies I hae seen, and money foo as bra, but for a modest, graceful mien, the like I never saw. Now, here's one that I got from Mr Burns. Yes, genuinely I got it from Mr Burns. All right, Mr Glenn Burns. Three months ago, we didn't ken your name or ocht about you. But lots of things have changed since then. I really must salute you. Your spreading rate is quite intense. You're feeding like a gannet. Disruption caused is so immense. You've shaken our wee planet. Corona used to be a beer. They garnished it with limes. But now it's filled us all with fear. These days are scary times. Nay, shaking horns or pecking lips. It's what they all advise. Just scrub them well, right to the tips. That's how we'll all survive. Just stay inside the house you bide. Nay, sticking out for strolls. Just check the lavvy every hour and stock take the loo rolls. Our holidays have been put off. Now that's the jet too, patter. Put on your thermals, have a laugh, and paddle down the water. Canary Isles, no for a while. Nay need for suntan cream. And all because of this wee bug we ken to be 19. The boredom surely will set in. But have a read, or a doodle. Or plan the menu for a month with 95 pot noodles. When these run out, just look about. A change, it would be nice. With beans and pasta by the ton and 20 stain of rice. So do you think your wipers out? Aye, true. A lot have died. Bubonic, bird plague, bird flu and TB. They came, they left, they tried. Aye, uh, you might be gallus now, my friend, as you jump from cup to cup. But when we get our vaccine made, your number will be up. An extract from A Man's A Man. Is there for honest poverty that hangs his head and all that? The coward slave we pass him by, we don't be fair for all that, for all that and all that. Our toils obscure and all that. The rank is but the giddy stamp, the man's the gowd for all that. Then let us pray. That come it may as come it will for all that. That sense and worth for all the earth shall bear the grief for all that. For all that and all that. It's coming yet for all that. That man to man the world Shall brothers be for all that? 
Or would I on Parnassus Hill, or had a helicon my fill, that I might catch poetic skill to see how much I love thee? But myth mon news, my news is well, my news mon be thy bonny cell, on Corsican I'll glower and spell, and sing how much I love thee. The Haggis Hunt The Haggis season has begun. All over Scotland every gun is taken down with loving care, though some of them prefer a snare, for haggis are a wily lot, and that's why they're so rarely shot. Now, hidden in the highland heather, great hairy clansmen crouched together, and having laid their haggis bait, a lifelike haggis on a plate, one calls out loudly, There are the new, which means a haggis has come into view. It's flying upside down and low, the gun's all fire, but they're too slow, for even though it's old and fat, it's awfully hard to hit like that. And as it flies into the mist, great hairy clansmen shake their fists and shriek their curses to the crags and jump on empty haggis bags. And so the haggis has got away to live until next Hogmanay, and that is why it is so rare, this strange traditional Scottish fare. Scots were here by Robbie Bonds. Scots were here where Wallace bled. Scots one brush has often led. Welcome to your gory bed. Oh, to victory! Now's the day and now's the hour. See the front of Bataloo. See approach. Proud Edward's power, chains in slavery. Wha will be a traitor knave? Wha can fill a coward's grave? Wha say base is be a slave? Let him turn and flee. Wha for Scotland's king in law? Freedom's sword will strongly draw. Freeman stand or freeman fall. Let him follow me. By oppressions, woes and pains. By your sons and servile chains. We will drain your dearest veins. But they shall be free. Lay the proud usurpers low, tyrants fall in every foe, liberties in every blow, let us do or die. Tear Loose by Robert Burns Ha! Where are you going, you prowling fairly? Your impudence protects you sorely. I can't see, but you struck rarely your gauze and lace. Though faith, I fear you down but sparely on sick a place. Now, Jeannie, dinna toss your heed and set your booties all good. You little ken what curses speed the blast he's making. Thy winks and finger ends, I dread, are notice taken. O oh, wad's empowered the gift to give us. To see ourselves as others see us, it wad frame money a blunder free us and foolish notion. What airs and dress and gates will be us, and even devotion. Ains may I hail thee, thy gloomy December. Ains may I hail thee with sorrow and care. Sad was the parting thou makes me remember. Parting with Nancy, or ne'er to meet me. Fond lover's parting is sweet, painful pleasure. Hope beaming mild on the soft parting hour. But the dire feeling, O oh, farewell forever, is anguish unmingled and agony pure. Wild is the winter now tearing the forest, till the last leaf of the summer is flown. Such as the tempest has shaken my bosom, till my last hope and last comfort is gone. Still, as I hail thee, thou gloomy December, still shall I hail thee with sorrow and care. For sad was the parting that makes me remember parting with Nancy or near to meet me.
A verse from the country lass by Robert Burns. Oh gear will buy me rigs of land, and gear will buy me sheep and cow, but the tender heart of me some love, the gowd and siller canny buy. We may be poor, Robbie and I, light as the bird and love lays on, content and love brings peace and joy, what me a, a queen's upon a throne. John Barleycorn was a hero bold, of noble enterprise, for if you do but taste his blood, twill make your courage rise, twill make a man forget his woes, twill heighten all his joy, twill make the widow's heart to sing, though the tear were in her eye. Then let us toast, John Barleycorn, each man a glass in hand, and may his great posterity ne'er fail in old Scotland. Well, wasn't that something quite special and a first for Allery Burns Club? Like all things, these things don't happen without the input of people like yourself, so thank you very much everyone who's contributed to the Sangs and Clatter tonight. A special thanks also to Bob Thompson who has somehow managed to make all this technology come together and piece all these small videos. Um, great job, Bob, thank you for that. Uh, there is also everyone in the committee meeting, uh, Malcolm, for the idea to come up with all these uh, things. And um, we really just really appreciate everyone that's put some hard work involved in this. Like all good things, they must come to an end. And um, as usual in Allery Burns Club, uh, we always like to finish an old Lang sign. So before I invite you to join together in old Lang Syne, we just look forward to seeing you the next time at the Ali Burns Club event. So thank you, good night, and take care. For And he's all